today, our journey across Russia brings us to Irkutsk, 5,000 kilometers east of Moscow. The capital of eastern Siberia is famous for its beautiful wooden houses. But the region's main attraction is Lake Baikal, with its pure, perfectly clear water. It's the oldest and the deepest lake in the world. It's also huge. It contains one-fifth of the world's fresh water. Sofia Buntovskaya has nothing but praise for this jewel of Russia's Far East. It's the deepest, purest, most beautiful lake. More than a lake. It's a sea and a sacred one. For years, though, the lake has been under threat. This pulp and paper mill, built on its shores in the 1960s, was the pride of Soviet industry, but also a major source of pollution. You can't leave to future generations a lake turned into a huge dump. I know I don't want to live in a dirty place. Sofia was one of many in the region who pushed to shut down the mill. Last September, she succeeded. But in the town of Baikalsk, the closure feels like the end of the world. 1,500 people used to work here, 10% of the population. The mill was not only the town's main job provider, it was the heart of Baikalsk, its raison d'être. Just like almost all her neighbors, Albina Yergina worked at the plant. The paper mill was an essential part of our town. All these houses were built for the plant workers. Every family had at least one or two people working at the plant, and that's how our life has been for the past 40 years. In fact, the mill could not even be closed completely. The town still depends on its huge boilers for heat and hot water. Now, though, the town's population is shrinking. And the signs are all around. Newspapers are filled with houses for sale advertisements. And there are signs everywhere in the streets. People try to sell their houses so they can leave the area. So real estate prices are dropping. Like many other Soviet mono-industrial towns, Baikalsk did not modernize. Its very survival is now at stake. Of course I'm sad to see people leaving town, but they don't have a choice. They must find a job, and when they leave, they don't come back. People need to know that authorities haven't forgotten them, abandoned them. If we talk about the prospects for the town, of course it's a tragedy for many people. Well, maybe not a tragedy, but let's say a major inconvenience. The mayor of Baikalsk refuses to give up. He's trying to convince himself and others that the paper mill's closure is actually a good thing for Baikalsk, a golden opportunity to change the town's economy. The future, he thinks, lies with tourism. There are a number of factors that play in our favor. The lake itself, the mountains, the Circle Railway line. Today we have possibilities to develop an impressive tourism cluster. The mayor's office looks like a war room. Focused on one goal, attracting businesses ready to invest in tourism. Artyom Tsidenov is one of them. He just bought Baikalsk Small Mountain Resort and immediately started to build new hotels, restaurants and bars. With new hotels, the restaurant and new chairlift, we expect to double our workforce in the next three or four years. Currently, less than 300 people work at the ski resort. And the visitors are all locals. But the owner is convinced there's potential. The town of Baikalsk has many things going for it. The lake, the mountain, the nature. But it's also facing many challenges. The main one being its remoteness. It's 5,000 kilometers from Moscow, and the nearest big city is three hours away. In order to make it, the region needs major investments, both 
public and private. Current infrastructure is antiquated. The roads are in very bad shape. And though the Trans-Siberian passes through the town, it does not even stop here. Albina Yergina was one of the first employees at the paper mill to use her severance pay to invest in tourism. It proved much more difficult than she expected. Who will come here? It's too expensive. Even for Russians, it's cheaper to spend a week in Thailand than to buy a tour of Lake Baikal. Albina doubts the tourism industry will ever replace the lost jobs at the paper mill. Sofia Buntovskaya believes the region should focus on ecotourism instead, the kind that respects the environment. For nature lovers. The problem is that tourists produce lots of garbage. The government should extend natural reserves and protected areas. There's still lots to be done in that regard. After fighting to shut down the paper mill, this is Sofia's new goal, to preserve the region's most precious natural gift, this lake, so deep, so pure, so sacred. Jean-François Bélanger, CBC News, Baikansk.